Hello, and welcome again to our month-long entrepreneurship course. Today's topic is the Value Proposition Canvas. As a reminder, the Value Proposition Canvas is an entrepreneurial tool used to help individuals project, test, and build the business value proposition of customers. A plug-in to the Business Model Canvas that focuses in on two elements, the customer segment and the value proposition. We'll dig in a little bit more on this on each section in this video. First, the customer jobs. What jobs your customer wants to get done and in work and in life? Some that are crucial, others that are trivial. Important issues that he or she wants to solve and tasks that the customer is looking to perform and complete. This aspect is focused in on the intents that have to be satisfied emotionally, socially, and functionally. With the customer pains, it's important to look into what annoys your customers before, during, and after a job. Yes, this includes slight and severe pains, whether it's negative emotions, undesired cost and risk, or something else. In relation to customer gains, these are added benefits or desires, whether it be cost savings, functional utility, positive emotions, or social gains. These three aspects are the only ones that an individual can actually observe. Moving to the value proposition map, a framework to address the jobs of customer pains and gains. As a customer, for the value proposition map, there are three aspects that need to be designed and adjusted. First, the products and services is what your value proposition is based on, built to support the functional, social, or emotional job to be done in a satisfactory manner. Second, pain relievers that alleviate customer pains. This area focuses on how to satisfy the customer, taking more in depth to learn about which pains are being reduced or eliminated. Third, game creators, speaking to the positive outcomes and benefits for your customers. This aspect shows an individual how one's products and services make customer gains. They highlight which of the customer gains your value proposition is addressing. Now, once all of this makes perfect sense on paper, it's known as a problem-solution fit. The next step is to validate this theoretical model in the real world, where the value proposition must gain real traction with real customers for it to be known as a product market fit. Great, so now you have a better understanding on the value proposition canvas. And don't forget that this is not helpful without the business model canvas. Refer to last week's materials to reach out if you are having trouble. The answer for Isaac's basic value proposition canvas can be found in the materials link below. As for the session, you can also find this in the materials link below. I enjoyed having you all today and look forward to the next week when we explore the empathy map. Thanks again.